What is going on guys? It is Kevin from KJ3 Computers and today I will be showing you guys how to make something so crazily awesome. I don't even know if crazily is a word but I'm using it now. It is something straight for the gamers. It is Game Boy cartridge cassette cases. I'm not going to be showing you how to make the actual plastic piece but I will be showing you how to find design and print and fold the labels. Now, it is a very easy and simple process. What is going to happen in this video is I will show you guys where to get templates, where to get pre-made ones, and how to design them up. For the programs I'll be using is Adobe Photoshop. Like I said, everything will be pre-included in the links in the description down below, so go check them out. So I'm gonna quit rambling on. I will see you guys in Photoshop. Once again, the templates are in the description down below. If for some reason the link is not working, you can easily Google search Game Boy Cartridge Cassette, cassette Case Template. So, enough rambling on, let's go into Photoshop. Now, if you want to take the work out of the process, it's very simple. All you have to do is go on Google and type in Game Boy Cassette Covers or Case R, and Google Images will provide a ton of pre-made templates that you can use, you can possibly even find the game. Sometimes you're not going to find the game that you need, so it's always good to learn how to make them and make sure it's the right size. If you're looking for the template, it's in the second row here. Very easy template to download. Again, the link for it will be provided in the description down below. So now that we have the template loaded up into Photoshop, one thing that I like to do is download the logo for the game and the cover. Now, the game I will be working on is James Bond 007 for the original Game Boy. Now here I have the cover art for it, and I have the logo for the spine of the case. So one thing I'll do is I will hopefully find a better quality picture, but then again the document isn't as big as, as, you know, as I think it is. So I will just simply cut and paste. I will see how good it looks. Then again, you're not getting that big of a image anyway, so I don't think quality is going to matter too hard. I do like to oversize it just a little bit because with this... Okay, no, that doesn't look bad at all. So what I do is I take the cover art from the original case and I put it under the new layer so it... If you can see around the edges there, around here, it goes under and makes a nice clean cut. So now what I like to do is I like to select, use my magic select tool here, make a new layer, and then what I can do is fill it with any color. See, I got it white there. I'm gonna go ahead and deselect since it doesn't necessarily like to select the, kind of where it fades right here. Yeah, it'll like at least in my version it does but what I'll do is I'll just resize it here let me zoom in and resize it again we're gonna put this underneath the layer because as you can see right here it just has a little bit of underlay so we'll do that and then I'm gonna do a color overlay I'm gonna put a gradient here so it looks it looks good Okay guys, so my cover art is finished. I just kept it plain and simple. It's like I said, it's a very easy process. So one thing you want to check is make sure that the image size is 1032 centimeters in width and 1016 centimeters in height. The resolution at 400 pixels per square inch that gives the best quality. I know like 300 is also good. The biggest thing you want to check for when it comes to printing pre-made cover arts is to make sure that it is the right size or else it will not fit. You'll probably under or overcut the 
actual label, so that's the biggest thing to check for. So once we are ready to go ahead and print, I'm gonna hop over to the printer and print it out. I will see you guys there. One thing I did forget to mention is that I am using a regular inkjet printer with standard printer paper. You can use laser jet or special photo paper. I don't really think it's going to matter for this project, but either or is fine for this. So all that's left now is to cut it out. The tools I'll be using is just simply a ruler and a box cutter. I prefer an X-Acto knife, but this is the closest thing I have right now. And we'll just start from one corner down, over, down, over, and go from there. Make sure that you have something underneath the paper to make sure you don't scratch the surface of, your, of the surface you're cutting on. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. Alrighty, so now that that's done, I will go ahead and just kind of pop it out and see where it needs to be cut more. Alrighty, we seem to look great. So here is the finished product here. So let me turn that around for you guys. I kind of got my camera in an awkward position. So now all it's left to do is fold on the lines here. Let me get one of my cartridges. So now all you really got to do is just fold it onto the lines. I am not an artsy person by the way, so if I have horrible folding skills, please excuse me. Again, I'm not really an artsy kind of guy, so again, excuse me for that. Alrighty, so now all you got to do is Take your cassette cartridge, drop it in like so, if it wants to go in. Gonna push in the sides there, alright, matches up well. And here you are. Boom, cartridge cassette finished. There's the side there, and the back. Now all you need is just your cartridge and you will be all set. So that'll do it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two. I hope it looks good in your video game collection or in your Game Boy collection. Like I said, feel free to use it on Game Boy Color cartridges, Game Boy Advance SP. I know a lot of people use uh, those Nintendo DS cases which are kind of eh to me. But anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a follow on Instagram at therealkj3.exe. Give me a follow on there. I post a lot of Game Boy, video game, computer stuff there. Probably more than I do on my YouTube, to be completely honest with you. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions or anything in particular to that. Feel free to leave a comment, shoot me a message, and that'll do it for this video. Peace out.